Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today it is finally time. I am doing my haul follow-up to my gigantic Shop Miss A haul from, I believe it was March earlier this year. If you missed my original haul video, I'll throw it up in the cards. Essentially, I spend a lot of money, around $80, at Shop Miss A's website, which is a lot of money because every product is literally a dollar. And I had a ton of products and I was really excited to get all of them. Most of them were makeup, a few of them were lifestyle, household kind of thing. So I'm not going to review all of those, but what I am going to review are all of the new makeup products that I picked up during that haul. So for example, if I picked up an old favorite, like an old foundation or the pressed powder that you've already heard me review on this channel quite a few times, I'm not going to review those because there were plenty of new products I picked up. And even like cutting out those other products, this video is still going to be long. So that's what we're going to be reviewing today. I've used these products for a few months now. I hauled them back in March. It is now June, so I don't like to do like big reviews like this until I've spent a few months with the products. And I feel like I've now had enough time with these products to give you my full review. I have them all in this bag right here, so this is gonna be a bit, let's get comfy and then let's jump in. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to try and review these like in order of how you would apply them to your face if that's applicable, but no promises because there's a lot of products to go through. I'm gonna start with the primers. The first primer is the Clean Slate Primer. This is like a smoothing, moisturizing primer. It's not really a silicone primer, not that I can really feel. It just feels nice and moisturizing. It is scented. It's like a light kind of floral uh, baby powder kind of scent. So if you're not into scents, you're not gonna like this, but I really enjoyed this to use all over my face. It really, just gave me a nice smooth base to work with, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a primer. So really enjoyed this one. Next, this primer, I thought it was just okay. Honestly, not my favorite when it comes to like blurring or pore filling. This is the Blurfection Face Primer. Um, I kind of am not a huge fan of the way to apply it. It's basically like a, uh, not a paste, but it's like a balm. There it is, it's a balm. So you would rub your fingers in and I found the best way to use this was just to really use it only in certain spots. So I would use it like around my nose right here where I get the worst out of my pores and then like in between my eyebrows up here. Trying to use this on the rest of my face, it just it really didn't work that well. If I knew that this was only really gonna be used on certain face, like certain parts of my face, I wouldn't have bought it because I'm not really in a need. I don't have a need for a specific primer just like the certain spots for blurring my pores. But to be quite frank, I have other blur, blurring and pore filling primers that work better than this one, specifically the e.l.f. You know, the e.l.f. putty primer is a lot better. So this one wasn't really one of my favorites. Next, uh, this I think was one of my new holy grails from Shop Miss A overall. This is the Jelly Jam Lip Mask. This is a dupe. In my opinion, this is a dupe for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've gotten several jumbo samples of that and I never wanted to buy the full price product because it, it's ridiculous how much that cost. This is a dollar and it's the rose scent. I, think, I don't know if they have other scents, but I love rose. It smells delightful. I've already panned one of these. So I like to use this nightly. I put it on a nice thick glob right before I go to bed. And it's just, I wake up in the morning, my lips are moisturized. They feel amazing. I love it. So this is actually a new one I just opened up. I think I picked up two in this haul and then I was sent more PR and I got another one. So like I'm stocked up and I love this. In that other PR package, they did just come out on oh, this dog hair on it, lovely. <laughs> they did come out with little scoops for their skincare. So you can actually use this scoop to scoop out the product. To be honest, my nails are a little long. So I just kind of scoop in with the back of my nail and like put it on that way you can do that or you can get the cute little scoop that goes with it. But I really like this. I'd really recommend it to anyone who likes the Laneige sleep, Lip Sleeping Mask, but wants a cheaper alternative because this, this, this is better <laughs> and cheaper. Next for foundation, I have the Pro Wear Foundation. This was the only new foundation I picked up. The other two that I picked up in the haul were older favorites or ones I've already tested out previously. I was shocked by how much I liked this one and also shocked by how full coverage it is. It is really full coverage and you really don't need that much product, especially if you're gonna shear it out a little bit. I like to shear this out just enough to get like good medium coverage and then I would go in with concealer as needed. But this is really nice. I, I liked the product. I liked the shade. It was a really good shade match for me. I think it worked really well. Um, let me see, how much is the actual fluid ounces? Yeah. So I like the size of this foundation better than the other ones because you do get one fluid ounces, one fluid ounces, one fluid ounce, which is standard for foundation. I like the packaging. I like the product. And I think this is really good. So I would recommend this one or the original A plus satin foundation. If you're looking for a foundation that's really good, but really affordable. 
Let's take a quick sidebar and talk about a home care thing that I picked up. This is from the Oki brand, which is AOA Studios, no, which is Shop Miss A's, like, housewares brand. The little hand sanitizing packets. These aren't makeup, but I really wanted to mention them because they are great. These are just like the ones you would get from Bath & Body Works, but the Bath & Body Works ones are more expensive. These are fantastic. I'm almost done with the rose-scented one, which smelled delightful. Loved it. Um, and I'm about to open up the lavender one. So these are really good. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, a quick foray into lashes. I did not use every pair of lashes I picked up yet because I picked up a lot of lashes, but I did want to just call out a few of my favorites from the AOA line. I love the, if you like a nice cat eye, I love cat eye lashes. The Rita's are fantastic. I love these. So these are really, really good. The Luella's are nice if you're looking for a big, round, kind of dramatic lash. Fantastic. And I think my all-time favorites are the Rita's. These ones have been used a few times. They're awesome. And also, these are only a dollar lashes, but I find that I can get at least five or six uses out of them before they get too gunky. And honestly, I don't take fantastic care of my lashes, so that's how long they last when I don't do that much to care of them. So if you take care of these, they probably last even longer than that, up to like probably like 10 uses. But you get a really good amount of uses for a dollar lash. It's not like some lashes where I've tried cheap lashes where you use them once and then like they're dead. No, you can actually use these a few times. Speaking of their lashes, I tried out their lash glue. This is the super or the A plus super strip lash adhesive. To be frank, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of this because I like the duo lash glue for like regular lashes, you know, regular non-magnetic lashes. This surprised me. This went on super easy. If this is like just as easy to use as the duo and the duo was kind of the, the best I had found up until like that point because the duo dried down really nicely. It didn't like gunk up. It looked, it dried down clear. This. I think I'm gonna use this over the duo or before that I liked the House of Lashes but the House of Lashes was kind of hard to get your hands on. Uh, this one, I really like it. Next, let's talk about liners. I picked up two new liners for me. The first one was the AOA Studio Muse Liquid Liner and this is a pot and felt tip liner. Honestly, this one was just okay. I don't think the, the felt tip is shaped that great. It's just kind of a, I don't know if you can really see it right there on my big ass forehead, um, but it's just shaped it's a little too thick, I think, for like if for me trying just to get like a regular thin line like that. So it's a little too thick for that, but then also it's it's not easy to use to get like an actual like wing out of. So I personally wasn't a fan of like this pot liner. What it's hard to apply, I'll put it that way. The actual formula, it stays put and it's a nice liner, but the packaging and like the applica the applicator is just too difficult for me. And honestly, I wasn't a fan. Next, an a liner that I actually really liked, and I think they have this in other colors, but it's like always sold out, so I hope they come back soon. This is the Artista, um, this is the Artista eyeliner pen, and this is a, this is also a felt tip, um, but this one is awesome. It applies really nicely. I can wing it out and get wings super easily. It is a nice, like solid black color. I really like this liner. I kept I kept it in my everyday makeup basket. I had to consciously like move it out so I would use other liners, but this was a really good like everyday if you're looking for just a, a simple kind of black liner. There you go. Um, again, I think they had this in other colors. I specifically want this in like white and brown, but like they've been sold out in other colors. So I hope they bring these back. Moving on to mascara. Um, the one mascara I pulled out the try was the Black Wisp mascara and honestly, not a fan. Um, it doesn't do anything for my lashes other than turn them slightly darker. They don't curl, they don't, it, they clump up and like I feel a little bit itchy when I have this on. So this, I, I was not a fan. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make this an empty because I honestly don't really wanna keep using it. It just made, it just made my lashes blacker and that's it. All right, let's go to lip glosses next. So I picked up two of the glazed lip glosses and I actually wore the one without the glitter when I was filming earlier today. I really like this lip gloss, though I have to admit it doesn't last as long as the Oh Honey lip gloss does. Um, these look really nice for pictures and for filming. I will say that because the one that has glitter in it looks really cute, especially when you can get in direct sunlight and like it sparkles. Gorgeous. Cute, so cute. Something that's gimmicky cute like that for a dollar, I'm willing to spend a dollar on. You know, it's, it's cute. Um, it's comfortable to wear, but you do have to reapply it. And that's without like eating or drinking. So like if you're eating or drinking, you have to constantly keep this on you. So if you don't mind doing that, yeah, they're a great gloss. But for me personally, this is more of a I'm filming or I'm staying in taking cute pictures kind of gloss. Next, for the repackaged Oh Honey lip gloss. It is the same formula, I can say. I like it as much as I liked the original. 
And I have to say the packaging is a lot nicer. Um, I really liked the formula of that last one. So the last packaging, even though I didn't like it as much, I dealt with it because I really like the formula of the, um, the lip oil. This makes it a lot better. It's a little rolly ball and it gets product out really easily. Um, that's the one thing I was worried about is if like it would get gunked up or it wouldn't work right. But no, it works fantastic. I love the packaging. I love this formula. If there's anything you pick up, um, from their line. I, I really suggest this one. It's really cute. It's comfortable. It lasts really well It looks cute in everyday life and also on camera. So this is your go-to I had to take a fan break. It's so hot and all these lights on it's, it's It's nuts. Let's move on next to blushes. I picked up two new types of blushes first their hush cream blushes now these are marketed as a sheer blush, but I have to say these are pigmented very pigmented. I'm not saying that as like a downside or anything, but just be aware of it. Because if you go in like I did, thinking they're sheer, you're going to get a lot of product. A lot of product. Um, and you do have to work it in and like blend it out for it to become a bit more sheer, but they are pigmented. But that's not a bad thing. I do like these a lot. I got two shades and I kind of wish I picked up more. Um, I've got the shade Passion, which is this color right here. And then I also picked up the shade Cozy, which can you open? Thank you cozy right here. Knowing how these work and the formula and the way that it, it blends out, I kind of wish I had gotten brighter colors because I don't think, I mean, personally, I wouldn't go for this kind of formula for like a dark shade like cozy. So I didn't use cozy as much. I really stuck to passion because this turned out beautiful, 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 beautiful. I think it's great that you can get a great pigmented wearable li li not liquid blush cream blush for only a dollar um, but I want to see what other shades that they have because I really liked this bright one and I think it's better for this formula if you stick to the bright shades like this because uh, I really wasn't reaching for this one the other blushes that I picked up are the Lumi blushes and I have to say these surprised me I was so impressed by these Lumi baked blushes like I want this in every color that they have I picked up two shades. This is Delicate Pink right here and then Rose Dawn. I loved both of these. And like I said, I like these so much. I really want to try any other colors that they have in this collection. I saw a post. I don't know if it was on Pinterest or on YouTube where someone compared these to the Hourglass blushes. And I have an Hourglass face palette with a couple of blushes in it. So I pulled it out and I tried them side by side. And to be honest, I liked the Shop Missé blushes better. Yeah, so I really liked these baked blushes. I've compared them to other baked blushes in my collection, especially like from Milani. These are just fantastic. You get a lot of product in here, especially for a baked product. And it just, it's beautiful. They, they apply beautiful, they wear beautiful, they're affordable, and I love the shades. So I hope they have a bunch of other shades because to be honest, I would love like a peach. A peach in this baked formula would be amazing. I would love it. Um, but these are spectacular and I would really recommend these baked blushes to anyone who's interested. All right, moving on to the highlighters. So um, I picked up a highlighter in a formula that I loved, but in a new shade. This is the Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Empress. I know I liked this formula because I tried it in another shade, um, but this one is just like kind of a gold slash light yellow tint to it and it's beautiful. I love this just like I love the other ones in this line and again I'll probably pick up some more shades in this if I can find more because it's just really good. All right so a new highlighter that I picked up were these Wonder Baked Highlighters. So these are baked highlighters. These also really impressed me. I really liked these and I got the shades Bon Bon. This one's more of like a gold kind of yellow tint to it and then I got the shade Cloud which was a really um like white silver kind of shade. These spectacular again i did get some comments that um people said these were kind of like those elf baked blushes where you had to scrape off the top to get product out but i have to say i used a big fluffy highlighter brush to go in and honestly that brush kicked up enough and i had enough powder and i had enough to actually apply so i didn't have to scrape anything off and they worked really well i use these as both inner corner highlights and face highlights and of course i put my face highlight on my cupid's bow and on the tip of my nose these are spectacular i really like these highlighted honestly i think their highlighters are some of their best products and they're really good you get a whole lot of product it's only a dollar and they've got a lot of shades and it's just awesome last but not least i picked up another of their highlighter formulas and this is the velour highlighter and this is in like a purple tinged kind of shade and this was beautiful to be honest, I couldn't wear this as often because it is a very bright purple highlight, but it, it 
it spreads like butter it's it's beautiful so i couldn't really wear this when i was working because even on camera like on a webcam where i work it'll pop up and it'll be like oh you've got purple on your face but it's pretty you know i really liked using this as an inner corner highlight when i'm doing any purple looks because it just it pops it's beautiful um, my favorite way to use this was on a day where i wasn't working and i would do a purple eye look and i would do a slight purple blush purple highlight and it just it tied it all together and it was beautiful i'm glad i got a, a different like color to try out this formula in because it's so interesting and i really do like it. it's interesting because it feels like a cream but it dries down it's like basically a cream to powder kind of highlighter and it's gorgeous and it's amazing that you can get like good quality product like cream to powder like this i feel like you don't see it as often in drugstore products i feel like i remember a time ago where it was a little trendy to do those kind of cream to powder things and i think they kind of went out of style really quickly but this is really good like this if if you had changed the packaging and had me try this highlighter i probably would have guessed it was like a fenty or something more higher end than it actually is all right so the last thing that i'm going to talk about in this review is actually technically a product i got in pr like right after i did the haul but i like them so much i want to talk about them and it's actually what i'm wearing on my lips today and it is their aoa studio velvet lips and i'm wearing the shade what shade are you aria a-r-y-a is the shade that i'm wearing today it is beautiful these are so comfortable um, there's 12 shades total. I did get sent the whole line. I've only got a couple with me because I don't want to have to hold up all of them, but they're amazing. They're really comfortable. They're really pigmented and they're just, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I like them so much. At first, um, they do stay a little liquidy at first and they are not transfer proof. Like I did just get a little bit on my finger right there, but honestly, I don't mind that because of how comfortable these are and how pigmented these are my only complaint is that every shade that they have is some sort of pinky or red or purple tone i really want this in every shade like i want a black i want a true neutral kind of shade for a bunch of skin tones i want colors i want green i want blue i want every color in this formula because it's comfortable and they last and they just they wear beautifully and i really like them so these i would recommend if there's a shade that calls out to you pick it up because it's really comfortable and it just it's it's awesome all right and that is everything for my haul follow-up for my big shop missay haul thank you guys for watching let me know down below if you've placed a shop missay order and if you haven't and you're interested i do have an affiliate link my only affiliate link that i have for anything is with shop missay because i really do like like a lot of their products and the products that i don't like i'm honest with you guys and i tell you what to steer clear from but don't feel pressured to use that link um i do get a single digit commission kickback if you go through that link and make any purchases within 30 days on the website anything that i make from there goes right back into the channel thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye